Okay, we have another example. Don't forget, pause the video, attempt this before you see me do the solution. So what we have here is a traffic flow or traffic stream parameter type question. So we're told here traffic in an interstate at 9.15 a.m. is observed to have spacing of 250 feet with an average headway of 3 seconds. The average speed in miles per hour of traffic is most nearly what? We want to find the average speed. So let's state that as what we want to find. Find, I'll call it AVG speed. And let me give this a variable and I'm going to stick with the FE handbook, right? We know some other books use very commonly, they use U for speed. So lowercase U for speed. But we're going to stick with the handbook and denote that by S. So let's use S and stick to the FE handbook, the NCS FE handbook. So we're going to find this S, the average S in this particular case. So we know we're given a few things here. So let's denote that. And we're given, first thing, it's 915, okay, so that's irrelevant. Uh, they just took the data at this time. So it's 250 feet of spacing. So spacing is a very, very important parameter when you're doing these traffic stream or flow analysis. These basic definitions are very important. So spacing. Spacing is going to be denoted by the lowercase s. So we'll give that lowercase s as most books do and we know that's 250 feet 250 feet then the headway the average headway so this is the headway distance sorry the headway time headway is not a distance headway is going to be a time spacing is related to headway but we'll see that we'll talk about that in the lesson notes but just know always stick with headway as a time headway is always a time and in seconds so seconds is the units we want as well so the headway let me write the head way is going to be the lowercase h and this is the average headway you can call it a h sub average or we know we can do h bar so you know like when you put x bar that's your like mean or average but that's the denotation is like that h bar is the average so that is going to be three seconds so we have that and let's define these real quick let's define these because we need to understand what these mean before we can solve this question so if we look in the lesson notes we know we have traffic parameters so this is in traffic capacity and flow theory so before we want to solve these look at flow theories we need to define these basic traffic parameters and understand what they mean so traffic parameters we know in the notes let me go above we know like we define flow here so flow or the volume is defined as n divided by t and this is the number of vehicles passing a certain point per time t is the duration of travel so that's volume then we define density is going to be the number of vehicles per length of the roadway segment we're analyzing so that's going to be the density. So number of vehicles n, n is the number of vehicles occupying the length. Then let's proceed. We know the length can also be denoted by this very important parameter called s. So s is going to be the individual spacing between successive vehicles. And that spacing is actually can be related to the l value, the roadway length. So if we take the total spacing, successive spacing, which is like your average spacing, lowercase s, we can get the length of the roadway. So that makes sense. And that spacing, let me just jump into that, just to define that down here. The spacing is actually this average spacing. Some books use space headway, but just know that spacing will have units of feet. It's not headway. Spacing is not headway. Headway has units of seconds. Spacing has units of feet. And the spacing is like denoted here in the figure I provided for us. And it's the from bumper to bumper. So this is the front bumper to the front bumper of this car. So the spacing S1, for example, is from the front to the front of this. So that's what we mean by spacing. And if you think about it logically, if you take the total summation of spacing, you take spacing 1 plus spacing 2, and you can arrive at your total length of the roadway. And this is what 
this is where that comes from. This L, the total length of the roadway, is the summation of the spacing. This is a summation symbol go, saying start from 1, from vehicle 1, and go to N, how many vehicles you have. F maybe 5 vehicles. So you'll have how many spacings in that case. If you have 5 vehicles, you would have 4 spacings. You would have 4 spacings. And then you just take the summation. So that's where what this means. That's what that means. So then that's basically defining spaces. So we took care of that, right? We defined spacing. That's your average spacing. That's what they mean there. That's your average spacing. And then the other one is going to be what? The headway. The headway is going to be lowercase h. And again, headway is always units of time. So it's the time between successive vehicles in the traffic lane as they pass a point is the headway time. So let's say we measure the point here. This car passes. Then this car would pass that point at a certain time right after that. But if you just use the figure here, we know the headway between this and that is going to be that. Actually, that distance the car needs to travel. And we measure the time, right? We measure the time it needs to travel. And that's going to be to travel this distance here, that dimension. And that's going to be your headway. Headway is units of time in seconds. So we know that duration of time travel, T, is actually like your summation of the total headway time you have. This is the duration of time travel for a segment we analyze. So we just sum, take the sum of the total headways. Again, lowercase h is the headway. That's the total duration of time travel for that segment we're analyzing. Then we know we can relate the flow rate to the headway. All we do is we know the flow rate meaning is this. The flow rate v, not velocity, flow rate is v in the FE handbook, is n over t. And that's at the very beginning, right? V is n over t, and that's going to be the flow rate. Then what we can do is take this t for the time duration, the total time duration of travel, which is the summation of all the headways. Let's say how many cars you have. No matter, you would do the total summation of the headway, and that's your duration of time. So what we can do is take this t, put it down here, and then we get this. Then we can arrive at this fundamental definition. The flow rate is 1 over the headway, the, your average headway. So that's a very important definition that we can arrive at, which is actually not in the handbook. But I would honestly just memorize it and play around with it. But on the FE, I believe they'll ask a simple question. Maybe they'll test your concept of headway, of spacing, and so on. So we'll do examples just to get some practice in. Therefore, we can like reorder this, right? And solve for the average headway, which is h bar, average headway. This, we get 1 over the flow rate. So that's also a very important definition. But I highly recommend you read over this and try to understand what each traffic stream parameter means. So that took some time, but we needed to know all of that in order to solve this question. So now, we want to find the average speed, right? We want to find the average speed. So for the solution, let's dive into that solution now. We know that the speed is something we can arrive at by actually using a fundamental definition that's provided, I believe, in the FE handbook as well. And that's going to be the density. So what they wrote in the handbook, if you, on page 304, so pause the video, go to that page, the density is going to be your V over s so that's in the handbook they low, wrote italics v sub p but just know that's the demand flow rate but this is always true the density is the flow rate divided by your speed and this speed is going to be the space mean speed space mean speed which is defined in the lesson notes but anyway we want to find that speed this is how we're going to find and solve for that speed and let me give that red let me denote that by a red symbol for speed. We want to find that speed. And that's the end goal to find the speed. So this is the fundamental equation we're going to use, which is also provided in the lesson notes. And we know the it's basically this. We just rearrange that and solve for S, right? That's all we're doing here. So that can be that equation. So then we're going to be like, okay, we're solving for speed. Let's rewrite this. 
speed equals to the what we take the uh, the V which is the flow rate divided by D which is the density so now what we will do next is find the flow rate find the density find the flow rate find the density so we can calculate the density let's call this first step we're gonna say calculate density by doing what how can we find that density we can find that density by using what we have here right based on these spacing and headway we can actually arrive at a density because we know the density is what the density is always 1 over s density is always 1 over s this this is something you can memorize especially for the fe right you can it's just 1 over s always for the density the flow rate we know the headway is 1 over v be careful with that right the ha the h is 1 over v but density is 1 over s so let's write that density equals 1 over s where s is your average spacing so this equals to 1 over your s value here that's given is 250 feet 250 feet but we know we want density in units always the conventional way to do is when we're looking at us units which is what's expected on the fe units of what what's the units of density we go above density is defined in units of vehicle per mile per lane typically like vehicle per mile and usually we're only looking at one lane right or one roadway segment so it's vehicle per mile always vehicle per mile per lane and typically the data is per lane so that you can just eliminate but vehicle per mile it's always the vehicles on top per mile right vehicles per length so that's going to be the units for density so let's reduce this and take out that feet right and convert it to miles so we know that there's going to be how many feet in one mile so this is going to be important it's 5 to 80 feet in one mile and this is in the tables at the beginning of the fe handbook so these cancel so now we can solve for the density so solving for that density we get the times 1 over 5 to 80 we should get about 21 21.12 so that's going to be the units of vehicle per mile so we have that now we can now proceed to finding what the flow so we can next find the flow let's say calculate flow rate and for the flow rate we know that definition is what it, the definition that we will use is the one with respect to the headway right because we know the headway and that's actually given so if we go we know the headway down here under headway parameters the headway is always 1 over v right 1 over the flow rate or the volume so we know the traffic volume so the headway what color did i use above for the headway this right i'll call it h bar h bar equals 1 over the traffic volume so we can solve for v v equals what 1 over the headway 1 over the headway so then that equals to one over the headway we said is how many seconds it's three seconds right three seconds and you have to be careful with this the units here they'll trick you on the fe and we know we need units of what hours right miles per hour so let's take out the seconds and convert it to hours we know there's 3600 seconds in one hour this is always true right you should try to memorize that that's an important one so these cancel you do one over three times one over three thousand six hundred and you get twelve hundred you get twelve hundred and the units for flow the units for flow are what it's the flow so the very first units are going to be vehicles per time right vehicles per time so the vehicles per time is going to be vehicles per hour and that's the typical units for when we're working with US or English units 
So vehicles per hour is always what we want. So now you have all of that. We just plug it back in here and solve for the speed. Speed equals to what? We take the density. Sorry, we take the flow rate divided by the density. So the flow rate is 1200 vehicles per hour. And the density is going to be the 21.12 vehicles per mile. And doing that, we can solve for the speed. So you do 1200 divided by 21.12. You get about 56.82. And we know the vehicles. So we have units of what for the speed. So it's going to be miles per hour right so we know the vehicles cancel miles per hour and that's what we want at the end right miles per hour mph is miles per hour so the answer is 56.82 so the closest one should be b and i believe that'll be it let me know if you have questions and thank you